But uh, our special guest today, we're joined by Dr. Cheryl Calder, who of course is the lady behind a program called iGym, which was the secret weapon to some of the world's most successful sports teams. Uh, Brian Havana is, is one of the, uh, the, the, the guys who took part in the program. Yeah. And you're evidence of that. You, you, you've yeah, gone definitely. through the program. Like, uh, you know, seeing, seeing the results in 2007, you know, Jake White had specific people he wanted to put in place. And you, know, you saw Doc Cheryl as a, as a vital cog in you know, making our hand-eye coordination pretty important in our World Cup success. Yeah. And uh, you know, it proved, uh, proved the results. Yeah. Now, I just went through some of the tests on the program that you actually do. It's, it's computer-based. And after doing some of the exercises, I could actually feel the muscles around my eye feeling like, you know, you know as, you, as, as you would go to a gym, yeah. and after doing, let's say, a bicep curl, you'd feel the burn. Yeah. And I felt the burn yeah. in the eye muscles. So yeah. it's, it's actual real stuff. Yeah, which tells you probably your eyes aren't fit enough. Yes, they're not. Yes, because after doing our tests, I failed dismally against Brian. But you had a head start, man. You've, you've been doing this for years. I think I have. But it's also, I mean, the, the, the more you concentrate on, on working specific muscles, the easier it becomes. And, uh, you know, there's, I think what's great about the, the Arjun program is that no matter what level you're at, there's still a, a, a difficulty that you can be tested at. So, you know, where, where I might be easy against you now, it's, you know, you get to level 20, level 25, level yeah. 30, and I start struggling, you know. So, I think what's, what's great about the program, it can be adjusted to, to any type of skill level, mm -hmm. and you can constantly work to achieve, achieve higher things. And um, there's different activities within, I think the doc's got something like 30 odd programs wow. within the actual iGym, um, yeah. you know, program that you can work a whole vast variety of, uh, you know, different muscles and things, which is pretty cool. And then, you know, she also has the stuff outside of the actual computer-based program where you, you know, working in your peripheral vision and yes. doing a lot of other things, which is pretty compromising and encompassing a lot more than just, you know, yeah. than just working on a computer. Now, Dr. Cheryl, just for those people that, is, that have just tuned in, have just heard, heard this term iGym for the first time, what exactly is iGym? Well, it's, it's training your eyes and your brain, the process in your brain, and your motor response. Mm -hmm. you know, so th those aspects which, which Brian would use on the field yeah. all the time. And I also like the, the fact that it's not just applicable to sportsmen as such, you can actually take it out into the wide world where you say you've done some tests and you've done some programs on uh, children in school, yeah. and it's assisted them in their learning abilities, That's in right. reading, in That's mathematics, right. please yeah. do tell. Which is exciting, because um, it's the same skills you use if you're reading or learning or playing elite rugby, whatever. Mm -hmm. you still got to see something, process it, and, and respond to it yeah and um, we've had some fantastic results showing that uh, um, training in the eye gym you can improve your cognitive skills yeah and you know kids today can't concentrate that well uh, the kids with all kinds of learning conditions and um, the exciting thing you go in the eye gym 15 minutes three times a week I was about to ask how many times is it because people spend yeah. hours and hours in the gym so yeah. only 15 minutes 15 minutes three times a week is the minimum and mm. you're training skills thousands of times so, yeah. you know, if, if you do, say Brian goes in 15 minutes, you'll be catching like a thousand balls. Wow. Now, you can't replicate that in, in, in modern sport because there are a lot of other aspects to work on. Yeah. And in life as well, you know, the kids have got so many activities and so much happening. Um, but if we can, in 15 minutes, three times a week, improve their reading skills yeah. and their concentration skills, you can, imagine, mm -hmm. you can imagine what's happening. And now what we're doing as well, we've identified that skill level of players is not up to standard. And yeah. we're doing this uh, rugby course at the moment with school kids, yeah. uh, improving the skill level of young South African rugby players. But now we're also improving their learning skills. So, you know, it's a win-win. Mm -hmm. So either way. Lovely stuff. Now, Brian, you, you and I did the test, and I mean, you were, I think, what, a point something more effective than I was. And of course, this plays a real role when you go out into, into the rugby field because you can catch those quick passes, you can make those split second decisions, when to sidestep, when to do this. So it's, it's evident in your work. Yeah, it's pretty important. I think what, what Doc was touching is uh, in, in everyday lifestyle, especially you know, in, in our technological age, I think we're you know, very caught up in focusing on very small areas, so cell phones, you know, mobile devices, yeah. your computer screens. And I think what iGym does, it sort of breaks you away from that. You know, some of us are spending ridiculous amounts of time on our cell phone, SMSing, on the internet, doing specific things. And what iGym does, it brings you back to what your core focus is. So as an elite rugby player, as much as I enjoy being on a cell phone, um, I actually need to be training other parts of my eyes and other yeah. peripheral vision. And yeah. what's great about the iGym program is that you know, the quicker I get on that, the quicker it makes me on the field. And um, wow. I think what's great is the quicker I can make decisions <clears> on the field, <throat> the faster I can, you know, make decisions on the field and the better I can become. Which As is, if Brian Habana needs to be quicker <laughs> on a field. Come on, man. You're kidding. Yeah, I think, uh, I think uh, being able to make decisions quicker on a rugby field separates the good from the best. And I awesome think for, for me, you know, I've, I strive to want to be the best and you know, every bit of help that I can get to, to make me the best is, yeah. is going to be worth, worthwhile. Very true, very true. Thank you very much to both of you. And if you want to find out more about the iGym program, do go to our website, expressoshow.com and we'll be right back after this break. Stay with Expresso and SABC3.